wonderful to meet you, Cynthia. <laughs> Cynthia Presser, right now. I wish I was at your house so I could eat some of that delicious food that you're showing on Quickstarter. Kickstarter, I mean, Quickstarter. It, it is quick. <laughs> and, it's kick and by the way, what you told me earlier, uh, and, and this stunned me more than anything, that you took the pictures of the food that's in your book and on the Kickstarter page. Man, I, I mean, that's the first thing I noticed when I looked at that page was, man, those pictures are edible. <laughs> yes, I do everything. I create the recipes. I cook all the recipes, actually a few times to uh -huh. make sure I test them correctly. And then I took all the pictures. Then I write the recipes. And <laughs> I pretty much do it. Then I clean the kitchen. I mean, I <laughs> that's a real entrepreneur. You know, you it do is, it all. It is. I, yeah. And, I and this is your first book, company. correct? It's your first book? It is my first book. Yeah. See? I mean, isn't that, uh, I think that's wonderful. You have this passion. You always had it. And I was like, I'm going to write a book. And you work for a year or two on these 100 recipes and you use Kickstarter to raise money to do it. God, that's right. terrific. Right. Um, it's a long life dream of mine having this book, book published. And I thought, you know what, why wait any longer? You know, I have to make this dream come true. So with the help of Kickstarter, I am making it come true. <laughs> yes, I've been working on it for two years. And we are almost there. We are very close to publishing now. Wonderful. And you do have a blog you started. I do. It's actually always started with the blog. It all started uh, with that. So that was yeah. your way to start learning about gathering the information and what you needed? Exactly. Exactly. Gathering the information uh, with, it started with my blog and then making that blog into a cookbook uh -huh. then was you know a step above because what is printed is printed uh, there is no way to turn back right. you have like it has to be accurate it has to be perfect mm. so it's a lot of work that you have been putting into so you're it. saying that you told me earlier that every recipe in that cookbook is you've tried at least five times right wow every recipe wow and you're still skinny <laughs> right, I am. <know. laughs> so it must be your husband that's putting on the weight. Somebody must be eating all this stuff. I'm going to eat my three-year-old a lot. I cook the whole day, too. No, so uh, if people don't realize your, your accent, you're from Brazil, that wonderful country that we all want to be and dance at, particularly at carnival time. And uh, But the, the book is only half Brazilian, correct? That's right. The book is called Cooking with a Brazilian Twist, and 50 of the recipes are Brazilian, and 50, the, the rest of the recipes are recipes from my traveling. I focus a lot on other South American countries, I like uh -huh. Argentina, uh -huh. Uruguay, Paraguay. Um, I also have some European countries like uh, Italy or France. But I also have a lot of fusion, ah. which is when I take a certain recipe, let's say from the United States, and I infuse in Brazilian ingredients into that recipe, which is a great example is my cheesecake with guava sauce. Your what? Your kick? What was that first word? Cheesecake. Oh, cheesecake and guava sauce. Yeah with guava sauce. Oh, yeah, that it's sounds a delicious wonderful. Delicious cheesecake. Guava is a tropical fruit from. Yeah people from Brazil and it's delicious and it complements my cheesecake just fine and <laughs> so I am proud to show that in my book. Well, well now what did you find, you know, what was the hardest part about getting your Kickstarter website up? Um, well, I think that, well, since I had a passion, I have to be honest with you, I didn't think it was hard oh. because I think when you have a passion. Yeah, it just. Um, do. you put like all your energy into that project I did we did a video and I made sure that people would see that I would you know that that was something that I'm passionate about right. and I wanted to share with them this passion ah. it's something that I don't want to hold for myself I want to share with everybody and then we wrote the text the, the you know the, the written part and right. then the pledge levels um it, it was it wasn't 
delight, actually. It was a delight. It, was it wasn't hard. work at all. You didn't work. <laughs> it was, no, I, I did, but it was that's the thing when you love what you do. Work is work is a pleasure. So yeah. this has been a great experience. It has been a great learning experience. And I just think that Kickstarter is an amazing tool that people who have a passion in a project, mm -hmm. it's an amazing tool to use. Yeah. For me, it just proves like I am, I've been here, living here for 13 years. For me, Kickstarter is one of the finest examples of how American people really know how to appreciate talent mm -hmm. and really embrace talent, no matter where from. If they know how to recognize talent and they embrace it and they bring it to them, and they share it to just make their own community better. And I'm going to tell you something. Not many nations know how to do that, like mm -hmm. American, like the Americans. And this, and I have to, I, I really admire that about it. And I now it's home for me. So it is. <laughs> yeah, it's all good. I have. <laughs> well, they're, they're wonderful words, Cynthia. I mean, I, I just think it's wonderful to hear that. You know, particularly when somebody. Who has a better perspective of what America is versus us living here? Uh, that's really thoughtful words and something that we should all think about harder and appreciate, make us appreciate this country more. And, and we have right. to have this woman who is a dynamite cook come and tell us that, which is, <laughs> which is wonderful. Well, thank yeah, you for sharing your passion with us. And uh, I, uh, I hope you so feed bad. all of America with that wonderful. Oh, I'd love to just make, this is my gift to America because I have been embraced by this country with such, you know, it was so amazing all the things that have happened to me uh -huh. here. And it was time to give back uh, and sharing the best of my culture with the American people is a way of giving back. And for me, it's a legacy that now I'm going to pass to my kids. Yes. And I hope that someday he's going to be opening my book and picking recipes to cook for his family someday. And I hope that Americans just embrace Brazilian cuisine, just how they have embraced other kinds of delicious cuisines that we see here. So that's that's pretty exciting. <laughs> well, that's wonderful. Well, we'll look for your grandchildren to be go doing Brazilian-based cookbooks. <laughs> well, I really hope so. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much, Cynthia. You are so welcome. It was a pleasure.